said code 45 and two zigzags Baby, that's all we need We can go to the park after dark Smoke that tumbleweed Good afternoon, I'm TJ from Arxy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an explosion on a still frame. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go get our footage. What we're going to need is a picture of a house or anything else you would like to create an explosion behind. We're going to need explosion footage. If you have some, you can use it. Otherwise, a link will be posted in the description below with the one I will be using for this example. And to make it a little better, we're going to also add a sound effect, which will also be in the description below as a download link. So what we're going to do is get them. Uh, you can get your stock footage from here. This is where I'm going to link you to, to this download link right here, T-Pipe 01 download. It's a really nice explosion, not that high quality, but Detonation Films has a lot of free stuff that you can use. Or you can go over to videocopilot.net and buy some of their high definition explosion effects. Now if you get good enough at this you can end up doing effects like this. It's really interesting. It ha This animation has about six layers as you can see them dissipating right now. It's really cool. And uh, we'll get our sound effect today from soundbible.com. It'll be called Big Bomb. And now we can go back to our Vegas. Now, now that you have your files, you're going to drag the picture of your house into one of them. You're going to create another video track and put the explosion in it. So, first thing that you want to do is right click your house go to video event slash pan crop click that up here where this arrow is you want to click it and click 16 to 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio this is gonna adjust the camera sort of the focal point that's why there's the big F alright so now you can see some of the edges are sort of or the top and bottom are sort of cut off and it's fit to the screen a lot better and the next thing we're going to do is also click our explosion. Right click our explosion, video event slash pan crop, click that, and do the same thing for the last one. Click this arrow, 16 to 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio. This is going to also do the same thing. Now, as you see at the beginning of our explosion here, it has this thing that says detonation films. We're going to want to get rid of that. So we're going to scrub through a little bit at a time till we see none of it. We're going to press S for split. And there it is, it's split, and then you can delete this half. On this example of this explosion, we're going to play it through. There it is, and then it goes slow motion. We don't want that slow motion, so we're going to do the exact same thing we just did, and cut it out. Split it, and delete this half. Now, we have our explosion right here. Now what we are going to want to do is click our house layer, track, whatever you want to call it, right click, duplicate track. We're going to want to drag one of these tracks over the explosion so there's a sandwich around the explosion of the house. Now what we're going to want to do is click the top house, right click, view event slash pan crop, in this bottom corner where it says mask you're going to want to click that enable and now you're going to want to draw around the house the nice detailed outline where you want your foreground to be now I'm going to do this quickly for time's sake Push this. And you're going to want to go back to where you started when you want to close. And once you see that little circle on the bottom right corner of your pen tool, that means close. So you're going to want to click. And we have now cut out the house of our picture. So now, if we drag this house away, which w didn't make a difference, our house is cut out. 
but we don't want it to look like that, which is why we have this bottom layer. But the explosion is blocking it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sort of green screen it, except in this case it's going to be black. So we're going to go to Video Effects tab right here. We're going to go to Chroma here and select Blue Screen. I already have a black screen template, but you can make your own. But today we're going to drag Blue Screen onto the explosion layer. Once you do that, this will come up. You're going to want to select this color and go all the way down. And now you can see through. Now, as you can see, we play this right now. And it looks really screwed up. So first of all, I'm going to want to move this. I just zoomed out so I can have a better view of this. We're going to want to move our explosion around. See if I can find it. Oh, I know I'm not finding it. There we go. Perfect. Now, if we play through this, it's going to look extremely pixelated. See? So, what do we do to do that? We're going to tweak our chroma key. Right click the explosion and go to video event effects. You're going to make sure you have chroma key selected right here. And you're going to mess around with the low threshold, high threshold, and blur amount. So, first we're going to start by. Hold on. I'm going to get a good view here. Pardon me. Back to my video effects. Now we're going to mess around with this. And in this case, when we move the low threshold all the way up, it looks really nice. Actually, not all the way up. Let's. I'm going to go around. 0.896 and I'm going to turn the blur up a bit. This should look great. Now, this should look okay. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, now that we have our explosion done, we have our foreground blocking the explosion and the explosion is over the background house. We'll select our um, sound effect from our project media. In this case, it will be the big bomb sound effect. Now you're going to want to find where your explosion is first seen. Let's see. We'll drag the explosion out a little bit so we have a little bit of time where there's no explosion. Perfect. Now, what else can we do to make this better? Now that we have our explosion and a sound effect, which matches extremely good, and to add, make this a little better, we're going to fade, oops, control Z if you make a mistake, we're going to fade this away on a direct fade. Not a curve, just straight line. perfect. We can even fade it out a little earlier. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add another layer or track. Now what we're going to do is go to Media Generators, Solid Color, White, drag it into here. We're going to right click it, Video Event Pan Slash Crop. Oops, pardon me. And go to 16 to 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio. Once again, that's going to stretch it down so it fits in a widescreen perfectly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to split at the explosion where the white is. And we're going to fade in quickly. It's hard to see, but I, f I have a fade right here. And then we're going to split again, delete, and fade back out. We can even make this flash a little longer. The only reason I'm doing it like this instead of a transition is because we have two layers, a background and a foreground. 
So just covering up the whole thing makes it a lot easier. We can even make our fades a little longer to make it seem a little bit more realistic. seems kind of like a cartoon but it'll do but now that we're done I'm gonna render this out good luck making your own and I'll see you guys later